The term tactical is defined as gaining an advantage over an adversary or situation. The revolver is a tactical tool with many advantages. A firearm that's remained viable for so many years have saved so many lives is worth your consideration as an EDC piece. Revolvers are far from outdated for personal defense and, in some situations, might be a better fit for you than a pistol. If you choose a tactical revolver for personal defense, there's many good choices out there. As with any handgun, the weight or heft of the piece, its balance and the level of recoil you're willing to master are important considerations. Reliability is the baseline for performance. Only after reliability is confirmed are other features considered. The greater maintenance demands and complications of semi-automatic handguns might be daunting to the occasional shooter. However, the revolver is very simple. Load, holster, draw, and fire. We've listed the top eight tactical revolvers and their key features, plus some things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 8, the Korth Supersport 357. This big honking German-made wheel gun is nothing short of a conversation starter, or finisher for that matter. It really depends on the situation. One thing for sure, it's a very unique, almost to the point of novelty type weapon. But if you're wondering, does it have a tactical rail from the factory? The answer is, hell yes it does. Actually, the Supersport has three fairly long rails, one on each side and along the top. So what's the actual benefit of all these rails? We suppose they help justify the $2,500 price tag. Don't get us wrong, we'd love to shoot this piece, but it's a bit pricey for the collection though. Number seven, the Taurus Judge with rail. Like many judges out there in our court system, this revolver is no lightweight at 1.76 pounds. The Judge also packs an interesting versatility firing both 45 LC and 410 cartridges, five of them. Also versatile is the number of configurations and barrel lengths offered by Taurus. If you're searching for the Judge with a factory rail, it'll be outfitted with a three inch barrel. Since the gun's bulky, it's a really good choice for home defense versus concealed carry. As such, we believe a tactical rail system is almost mandatory for lights or accessories. It's late, you can't find your readers, and you need your vision more than ever. I mean, think about it. As of the making of this video, there were 13 different configurations of the Judge listed for sale on the Taurus website. Some with very long barrels, some with large comfy grips. Customizations will probably inflate the price tag a bit, but some upgrades might be worth the money. With a 3-inch barrel, the Judge isn't going to replace your shotgun. It will turn some heads at the range, however. Number 6. The Smith & Wesson Model 69 A few years ago, Smith & Wesson introduced the Model 69 44 Magnum revolver. Its L-frame has been offered in a 7-shot 357 Magnum version for some time. In turn, S&W recently introduced an even lighter version of the Model 69, the Combat Magnum Model 69 in 44 Magnum, which features a 2.75-inch barrel and a round-butt grip. All S&W revolvers in modern production feature a round butt frame, but the grips are offered in either round or square butt configuration. This tactical revolver is more suited for concealed carry than the 4 inch version. With an excellent set of sights and the smooth S&W action, it has much to recommend it. I think most of us carry it with 44 special ammunition, but there are 44 Magnum loads that aren't full power that can be controlled in the Model 69. While I'm a fan of the classic S&W revolvers, the newer guns are more durable and more accurate. The frames are strengthened in critical places and the steel is stronger than ever. Modern CNC machinery ensures that throat and barrel dimensions are a good match and provide excellent practical accuracy. Number five, the Chiapa Rhino. I love when companies bring out something new and succeed. Italian firm Chiapa brought the Rhino to American shores and we gobbled it up. Why is the Rhino so different? Well. They took the barrel and aligned it with the bottom cylinder rather than the top cylinder. The effect is that the recoil is generated rearward into the wrist rather than upward. This makes follow-up shots super easy, even when shooting magnum calibers. The Rhino utilizes an interesting hammer setup that's external, but is a false hammer. The actual hammer is internal. The false hammer makes it easy to cock or decock the gun into and out of single action mode. Chiapa's Rhino features an awesome cylinder release that's positioned right by the hammer and is super ergonomic. The Chiapa Rhino comes in various sizes and calibers as well. 
you'll have no problem finding one for your needs. Also, the larger variants feature optics and light rails that bring the Chiapa into the modern age of fighting handguns. Number 4. The Ruger GP100 Ruger introduced two new revolvers based on the GP100 frame. The first is a 44 Special version. This revolver features a non-fluted 5-round cylinder. The lockwork is adapted to manage the 5 rounds. The feel of the action is different than the 6-shot revolver and perhaps a bit longer and smoother. The 44 Special features a 3-inch barrel, its front sight is a fiber optic unit, and the rear is Ruger's standard, fully adjustable sight. All this adds up to make the 44 Special GP100 an excellent personal defense handgun. While the 357 Magnum enjoys an excellent reputation against motivated adversaries, some prefer the surety of a big bore cartridge. The 44 Special offers that advantage, and the Ruger GP100 is an excellent vehicle for it. The Ruger GP100 44 Special dropped one round in capacity in return for a big bore cartridge, but Ruger was also working on increasing the capacity of the Ruger GP100 357 Magnum. The result is the GP107 Shooter. It feels and handles like a small revolver. While it's only slightly smaller than the 3-inch barreled 44 Special version, the overall impression is of a smaller handgun. I fired the GP100 7-shooter extensively and adopted it as one of my most important personal defense handguns. The versatility of this wheel gun is unequaled by semi-autos. For example, with mild 38 loads, the GP100 is a pleasant plinker. With 38 Special Plus P loads, anyone in the family can use it as a tactical revolver for home defense. When I deploy the piece concealed with 357 Magnum defense loads, I've got a handgun with proven wound ballistics. In my experience, the only revolver that's consistently as accurate as the GP100 is the Colt Python, and it's only slightly so, and it takes a good hand to prove it as well. The GP100's lock work in the 7-shot version cycles more quickly than the 6-shot variant. This is a great revolver and my favorite among the new introductions. Number 3. The S&W M&P R8 As far as bucket list guns go, the M&P R8 is one of the few revolvers on my list. This has to be the most tactical revolver ever created. The story goes that SWAT teams were looking for a modern revolver to issue to cops toting shields. A revolver was desired because the slide wouldn't potentially hit the top window in the shield and malfunction. Smith & Wesson created the TR-8, or Tactical Revolver 8, for this task. What makes the TR-8 so tactical is the fact that it wears a rail for a flashlight and an optional rail to toss an optic on. The TR-8 makes it easy to outfit a revolver with modern accessories for defensive or even hunting uses. The 8 in TR-8 stands for 8 rounds, that's how many this bad boy holds. In states that ban standard capacity magazines, the TR-8 offers 8 rounds of 357 Magnum Man Stoppers, which is really tough to beat, especially with an optic and a flashlight in place. This is a big gun, and it's surprisingly easy to shoot as well. The DASA trigger design makes it easy to fire rapidly or precisely. Reloads are fast with moon clips, and the cylinder is cut for 8 round moon clips. Number 2. The Ruger Red Hawk Among the most interesting introductions is the Ruger Red Hawk 357 Magnum. The Red Hawk is proven and has long chambered the powerful 44 Magnum and 454 Castle cartridges. Chambering the Red Hawk and 357 Magnum results in a revolver that's massively overbuilt compared to lightweight revolvers that take a beating from the 357 Magnum cartridge. The 357 Mag Red Hawk is a large handgun, more than 45 ounces. Even with its 2.75-inch barrel and this configuration, the Red Hawk is an exceptionally well-balanced tactical revolver, and its weight helps absorb the recoil of the powerful 357 Magnum cartridge. The Red Hawk is on the large side for carry under covering garments, but it's well-suited for home defense. No handgun is too large to fight with. Subjectively speaking, recoil is light, no more than firing a 38 Special cartridge in a small frame revolver. The Red Hawk 357 Magnum can be fired with affordable, low-recoil 38 Special loads or the powerful Magnum ammunition. Coming in at number 1, the Kimber K6S. A development that's quickly gained a good reputation is the Kimber K6S 357 Magnum, a light wheel gun that gives those carrying a J-frame revolver an option to move up in both caliber and capacity. The K6S's cylinder accepts six cartridges, yet this stainless double-action only revolver is only fractionally wider than the atypical 5-shot. The internals are no surprise. The revolver is based on proven lock work. Kimber took the J-frame action, moved the hammer spring about 5 degrees, and changed the hammer's pivot. The result is a shorter throw than other revolvers, along with a much smoother feel. This action allows accurate work well past what is assumed to be snub-nose ranges. 
While the Kimber has a short sight radius, its excellent trigger action and modern sights make for a superior shooter. So that wraps up our list of the best tactical revolvers. Let us know in the comments which model works best for you and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.